ating magiging bagong classroom. Dahil ngayon ay nasa virtual class tayo, at dahil sa mga balakid na hindi natin may iwasan, hayaan nyo akong gumawa ng mga tutorial videos na maaari ninyong balik-balikan. Sana ay makatulong ng mga bagay na ito upang mas papadali ang inyong pag-aaral na mathematics sa ating new normal. Ang ating unang topic na pag-uusapan ay ang arithmetic sequence. Tara! At makinig kayo sa inyong musikerong maestro! Yan, para sa ating unang topic, syempre, dito tayo sa arithmetic sequence. Pero bago yan, bakit nga ba musikerong maestro yung napili ito na title ng ating uh, bago ngayong classroom o ating bagong tahanan? Dahil mahilig po ako maggitara pero hindi po ibig sabihin nyo sa kang ituturo ko ha, mathematics po. Okay, balik po tayo dito sa arithmetic sequence. Siyempre, ang arithmetic sequence is isang type ng sequence. So, pa paano ba natin malalaman o madidefine itong arithmetic sequence? Siyempre, bago natin niya ma-define, kailangan muna natin magbigay ng sample. So, after niyan, i-define ko sa inyo. Okay? So, we have here 69, 73, 77, 81, 85. Kapag kinuha natin yung next three terms niyan, madali natin makukuha. Bakit? Kung mapapansin ninyo, we have 69, nag-add lang tayo ng 4 dito, nag-add tayo ng 4, we add 4, we add 4 here. So, therefore, para makuha natin yung next three terms, we will just add 4. So, magkakaroon ngayon tayo ng 89, 93, plus 4, we have 97. Lumalabas, madali natin makukuha. Tama naman. Ang dali, kasi we just add 4. What if, if your teacher asks you to get the 23rd term, medyo malayo-layo na yan. Pero syempre, pwede pa rin natin gawin, mag-add tayo na mag-add, ng 4 hanggang dumating tayo sa 23rd term but the problem is kakain ng oras yan tama? so pag kumain ng oras for example dalawang minuto lang yung binigay sa inyo ng teacher para makuha niyo yung 23rd term medyo matagal so syempre mayroong fastest way para magawa natin na makuha ka rin yung 23rd term sa so, pagkuha ng explicit formula ano ba yung explicit formula na yan? explicit formula. So, para makuha natin yan, i-label muna natin yung bawat term. So, pinatawag tayo na number of terms. So, I introduce ko sa inyo. And let us uh, label that number of terms as N. So, lumalabas kung ito yung ating term, yung 69, siya yung lalabas na first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, six, seven, and eight. So, ano gamit niyang N na yan? So, ibig sabihin, kapag nakuha natin to explicit formula, at kapag uh, sinabshoot natin itong 1 o the first term, kailangan lalabas 69. So, paano gagawin yan? Para makuha natin yung unang-unang step, in order to do this, kailangan tayo mag-subtract. Ano yung subtract natin? Itong second term minus first term, third term, second term, fourth term to third term, and so on try natin. What is 73 minus 69? Siyempre, equal to 4 kasi apat yung ating inadyang kanina. Same thing. We have 77 minus 73. That is also equal to 4. 81 minus 77 is equal to 4. 85 minus 81 is equal to 4 and so on. So, lumalabas in ang tinatawag natin na common difference and let us label that common difference as D. And our D now is equal to 4. Okay? So, ano yung pa naman yung gamit ng 4 na yan? Ano yung gamit ng common difference sa pagkuha ng ating explicit formula? Ito yan. So, may question ako. How can we add a bunch of 4 to have or to have to get easily to 23rd term? Papaano nga kaya? Siyempre, using multiplication. So, ibig sabihin, itong 4 na to, imumultiply natin doon sa number of terms. So, lumalabas, we have here 4n. And by the way, ibibigay ko, introduce ko rin sa inyo yung a sub n. Ano namang gamit na itong a sub n? 
Itong A sub n naman na lumalabas na value of each term. Kanina yung n natin is number of terms. Ito naman is value of each term. And of course, D is common difference. Andaan yan ha, para alam natin pinag-uusapan natin. Okay, we have A sub n is equal to 4. And katulad na sinabi ko kanina, gagamitin natin itong number of uh, terms. So we have, if we have n is equal to 1, so we have here A sub 1. Dapat ang lalabas sa A sub 1 na, the first term natin is 69. Correct? So try natin. We are going to substitute this n in our formula, 4 times n. So, substitution, we have 4 times 1. That is only equal to 4. So, meron tayong problema. Kasi ang first term natin dapat lalabas ay 69, not 4. So, ano ang gagawin natin para makukuha tayo ng 69? Siyempre, we will add 65. So, pag nag-add tayo ng 65 dito, magkakaroon tayo ng 69. Bali, lumalabas 4 times 1 plus 65. So, therefore, ang formula na gagamitin natin dapat ay 4n plus 65. Yan yun yung gagamitin natin. Let us try this formula para makuha naman natin yung a sub 2. Dapat ay 73. So, we will have here a sub 2 is equal to using the formula or our n now is equal to 2. 4 times 2 plus 65 is equal to 4 times 2 is 8 plus 65, that is equal to 73. So, lumalabas. Tama pa rin siya dito. Try naman natin ngayon para mabilis. Uh, wag na tayong dumaan dito sa 3, 4, 5, 6. Punta tayo sa 8. So, sa 8 term, dapat 97. So, we will have our A sub 8 is equal to 4. Our N now is 8. 4 times 8 plus 65. What is 4 times 8? That is equal to 32 plus 65. And the total is, what's the total? 97. Tama siya dito. Ito, 97. 97 rin yun. So, therefore, this is the correct explicit formula. A sub n is equal to 4n plus 65. Siyempre, meron pa tayong kulang. Ano pa? Kailangan natin hanapin yung 23rd term. Okay, kunin natin. So, we have now A sub 23 is equal to, using the formula, we have 4 times 23 plus 65. Medyo mataas na yan. Eh. What is 4 times 23? That is equal to 92. Very good. That is 92 plus 65. Oh, kunin lang natin yung total. Magkakaroon tayo ng 100 57. Yan yung ating A sub 23. Okay, tanyo na. Kapag nakuha natin yung explicit formula, madali na natin makukuha kahit anong term na papahanap sa atin. Maliwanag ba? Punta ngayon tayo dito sa ating second example. Kung mapapansin nyo dito sa ating first example, ano siya? Increasing or decreasing? That is increasing. So, pansin ninyo kapag increasing, ano yung common difference? Positive 4. Ano kaya pagdating naman sa decreasing order or now we're decreasing sequence? Ano kaya yan common difference natin? Check natin. Okay? So, this time, kunin natin yung common difference. Katulad na sinabi ko kanina, we will just subtract yung second term sa first term. So, magkakaroon tayo na negative 2 minus 3. What is negative 2 minus 3? Of course, same sign, so we will add. And that is negative 5. Check naman natin yung kabila. Negative 7 minus negative 2. Ako, sir, paano yan? Kasi tumatlo na yung sign na negative. Kanina, dalawa lang. Gagamitin natin syempre yung ating natutunan nung nandun tayo sa grade 7. How to multiply a same sign. So, of course, this is negative 7. Negative times negative will become positive. So, negative 7 plus 2, negative 5 pa rin. So, lumalabas, meron tayong common difference. At para masigurado natin yung kunin na natin ito negative 12 minus 7. So, we'll have negative 12 minus negative 7. Check natin. O, paano kaya yan? So, same thing kung ano yung ginawa natin dito sa ating 
Uh, this is the second na ating sinabtract. Ganun din gagawin natin dito. So, magkakaroon tayo negative 12 plus 7. What is negative 12 plus 7? That is also equal to negative 5. Lumalabas, we have a common difference here. Which is equal to negative 5. So, ngayon, malalam, nalaman na natin na kapag decreasing order yung ating sequence, negative ang makukuha natin common difference. Kapag positive, makukuha naman natin ay positive. Or increasing order. Okay? Punta tayo ngayon dito sa ating second sample. Ito e, lang natin. So, kunin natin yung explicit formula. For example, ito, gusto kong ipakuha sa inyo what is the 97 term. Naku, medyo malayo ba siya din? Sir, palagang uubos ng oras yan kapag ka kinuha natin 97 term. So, ang solusyon, kunin natin yung explicit formula din. Siyempre, explicit formula. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, tulad ng first example, ginamit lang natin yung ating common difference and we just multiply it by n. So, see, the same. So, we have now, a sub n is equal to negative 5 times n. So, dapat lalabas ang 3 sa ating first term. So, ano gagawin natin? So, we have now, for example, ginamit ko yung first term. a sub 1 is equal to negative 5 times 1 because I just used first term. So, therefore, I also substitute 1 here. So, I have negative 5. But, problema tayo. The first term here, using this formula, nakuha tayo negative 5. Pero, ang actual na first term natin should be 3. Isipin natin, ano gagawin natin para itong negative 5 ba maging positive 3? Tama. I-add natin sa 8. Okay? Kasi, pag in-add natin yan, negative 5 plus 8 lalabas, that is equal to 3. So, therefore, ang gagamitin natin formula is negative 5n plus 8. I-add lang natin yung 8. Try natin kunin yung a sub 2. Dapat, ang makuha natin ay negative 2. a sub 2 is equal using the formula negative 5 times 2 because our n now is equal to 2 plus 8. Sulat ko lang dito ha. Nag-add tayo kanina ng 8. That is equal to what is negative 5 times 2? That is equal to Very good. That is negative 10. Then we just add 8. Magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng negative 10 plus 8. Negative 2. Very good. And that is negative 2. Try natin sa A sub 3. Kung parehas lang. Parehas natin sa A sub 3. Burahin ko muna ito sa dali. Ha? Okay. A sub 3. Tignan natin A sub 3. That is equal to using our formula. Negative 5 times 3 plus 8. 8, and that is equal to negative 5 times 3. That is negative 15. Very good. And negative 15 plus 8 is equal to, kasi negative yan, negative 7. Tama ba? Negative 7, you know. Parehas, so. So, therefore, this is a correct explicit formula for our second example. At dahil may tanong tayo, what is the 97 term? Kunin natin yung 97 term. So, we have now a sub 97 is equal to negative 5 times 97 plus 8. Ako, medyo mahaba-haba na yung ating uh, isosolve kasi negative 5 times 97. Pero madali pa rin yan. Kayang-kaya pa rin natin yan. So, we will have negative 400 400 what? 85. We have negative 485 plus And that is equal to negative 400 400 what? 409 Parang mali Kasi add na i-subtract natin to So we have 407 15 minus 8 What is 15 minus 8? That is equal to 7 Tama So we have negative 477 And this is our A97 yun. So, ngayon, meron tayong dalawa na ginawa na example. At nakita natin yung pagkakaparehas nila. Ano pagkakaparehas nilang dalawa? Tama. Parehas silang may common difference. And we use that common difference to get the explicit formula. So, therefore, let us define what is arithmetic sequence. The arithmetic sequence is a sequence that has common difference. Sana itong dalawang sample ko na to nakatulong sa inyo kung paano natin kukunin yung explicit formula at the same time kung ano ang definition ng arithmetic sequence. 
Hanggang sa muli, ito po ang inyong musikerong maestro. Salamat! <laughs>